Uh, you know, so we had a day long of, uh, you know, uh, discussions, conversations. We have touched upon all the aspects of the uh, mobile world, the streaming world and everything else. But there's one more connect, which is the fan, you know. People who like, you know, we all go to Insta pages, Facebook pages, Twitter, how many likes, isn't it? I mean, how many times do we visit our pages and see that how many people liked our content and shared our content? And that's a very critical part. How can brands, uh, quickly coming to that question, uh, you know, leverage their uh, fan connect to build greater recall? Uh, uh, what is the fandom story? What led to fandom? How are you helping brands in that? Thank you so much. Uh, these are too many questions in one go. Six questions. Yeah, six yeah. questions in one go, yeah. So thank you so much for this opportunity. See, the whole idea is every, from last uh, two hours I've been listening to the panel discussions and people presenting. Everybody keeps focusing on consumer as a consumer as a whole, you know, to, to map up for marketing, right? But the biggest difference is that 20% of people give you that 80% of leverage, whether it is for content or for brand, right? So why don't this is an opportunity for brands? Fandom gives an opportunity to uh, brands and celebrities and broadcasters to identify their top top 10% or 20% of fans who are anyways doing free marketing for them, right? These are the people that you need to identify, recognize, reward, and learn from their behavior to do better marketing. There are no platforms in which you can recognize that who is a fan. Fan is a diff very different for person from an audience, right? Fan is a person who goes and talks about your brand, who's an advocate, who's a defender, who's an evangelist about your brand, right? So that's the biggest difference between a fan and an audience. And in today's world, where the, the shock, there is this huge thing of being a goldfish, right? Uh, where there is no attention span. You want to hold on to a fan rather than an audience, right? Nurture them, reward them, and learn from them to leverage marketing or make better content. So if you see the existing environment and the way fans are being leveraged or engaged by brands, uh, uh, how is it like, uh, what can be improved in your uh, opinion? So first of all, I don't understand that how do you define a fan and an audience, right? That's what fundamentally Fandrum is doing. Differentiating a fan from its audience. Fans are, fans are these days creators and designers and community managers and, you know, these evangelists. These people have to be identified and there's no platform. Instagram, may, there are subscribers and followers. They are not necessarily your fans. I may have liked something, I have become a follower, right? Not necessarily I'm a fan. So it's a huge difference. So the fundamental difference that Fandrum is trying to bring is to differentiate between this audience and a fan. It's a fully gamified platform to understand people who are engaging more, they get more points. Those points can be then redeemed for rewards. And on behind that, we can, on behind, uh, behind the whole thing, on the data analytics parts, we are able to identify psychographically that who your fan is, what the need of the fan is, rather than just by saying that he's a 35-year-old male from Delhi. You don't get to know anything about that from Instagram or YouTube or Facebook for that matter, right? So this is where the fundamental difference is, knowing your fan, leveraging what they like and building content or marketing campaigns around them. So, uh, what has been the fandom story so far? I mean, do people tell you that Samrith, you are ahead of your time and we, this is Greek to us? I mean, have you faced such issues while explaining to potential clients what you bring to the table? So, not really. You know, we believe that this is exactly the right time with mobile internet exploding, data becoming cheaper and people having a voice on everything, right? That's already be a part. You know, now we want to give them specific voice to the things that they specifically like. So people talk about content on various platforms. They have their own WhatsApp groups. They have their own communities, online forums, and so on. But they are scattered and fragmented. Neither a fan gets validated for being a fan. Neither a broadcaster or a marketer gets to know who's the person that they want to capture or target or identify as a fan. So in Fandrum, what we are trying to do is make that difference, give, give fans their own platform to communicate be a creator and have their own voice. And most importantly, recognize them for being who they are and validate them for uh, delivering to their community you know, or the brand or the content or the celebrities themselves. Two last questions. Um, you know, on this forum, uh, fans and mobiles go together. That's what, uh, you know, we believe. Uh, can you explain, you know, how, how does it actually, how do they go together? and mobile go together because these days everybody is carrying a mobile, right? You are a creator by creating a photo. You are an influencer by making a blog, a blog right? Or a vlog, as you say. So everybody is a creator. Mobile has become the most essential part of, become a most essential part of creation, right? So that's what I was talking about, that 
today's fan is not merely a hysterical teenager he's a creator you know he's a creator he's a designer that's the skill set that people have developed in the last last 4 5 years right that needs to be validated and they are anyways doing it out of love for the brand but brands need brands or broadcasters need to come forward and now validate them for being a fan and it goes hand in hand finally uh how do you plan to make fandrum a bridge between uh, you know audience and industry where do you why do you see fandrum over the next uh, two years so it's a very good question Owen. the whole difference is that uh, you know in the earlier days there was this whole system where a fan could write to a broadcaster where we had a po box number right and the broadcaster used to dedicate a full half an hour show to actually read out the letters that were sent uh, to the broadcaster so to, in today's world the more communication is out there the more lost the voice of a fan is so we are trying to create that whole ecosystem where audience can have a better feedback loop with a broadcaster and it's the need of the hour you know less than 5% of content that is produced is successful because we are not hearing the voice of a fan we are not hearing what people are wanting to watch so there is no feedback loop so this is where the whole 360 degree uh, ecosystem comes together and we join through fandrum Absolutely wonderful for bringing out the fan side of the conversation. I remember the SRK movie on that fan thing, yes. right? Yeah. Anyways, with a round of applause for uh, yeah, Simrati, and thank you, Simrati, for thank sharing you so your much. thoughts. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very much.